how to change the whole game with one new weapon. Today I'm going to show you that the GL40 is OP in Escape from Tarkov in the way the game and this launcher works, but in the end you get surprised. Yeah, thanks. Even the German is back. Well, that sounds weird. And Jesus Christ, boys, I'm a big fan of the realistic factor we have in Escape from Tarkov. And this factor causes a variety of problems because it's still a game. Pastilli talked about the helmed armor issues and all that stuff and the GL40, the new grenade launcher, is another point. Of course, it's frustrating if you get one shot at and the most of those shots are headshots. Your head is a small target and the opponent shooter needs a direct line of sight to shoot you. With the GL40 a lot of things changed. You don't need a direct line of sight to hit your opponent and most of the shots can one shot the enemy quite easily. But let's check some facts about the GL40. To get the GL40 you have to have Peacekeeper on level 4. After that you can trade the grenade launcher for one VPX. 4 military circuit boards and 3 military cables. Furthermore, you can find the GL40 in marked rooms, for example. That means you can buy and sell it on the flea market for around about 250k. You have to put the GL40 in one of your weapon slots, so if you play with a GL40, you are limited in terms of looting weapons. But the GL40 is very easy to store. If you fold it, it's just a 2x2 item. To improve your quality of life with the GL40, you should mount sights on this gun. If you don't have sights on the grenade launcher, aiming could be a bit difficult, but even without sights, your shot can be very accurate to hit your opponent. You have a top rail and you can mount nearly every sight in this game, but be aware, as I mentioned earlier, you are not shooting kinda straight like a normal gun. Your ballistic curve is stepper and that's why you have to put the right sights on it. With iron sights like the embers, your GL works perfectly. With red dots you should keep the adjusted distance to 25, otherwise you are losing your reticle. In terms of ammunition, don't play the 40mm buckshot, even on close range it's not that very effective. The M381 and the M386 can be bought from Peacekeeper level 3. The M381 explodes after 2 to 3 meters and the M386 after 15 to 30 meters. That's me that means you could use the M381 in CQB situation and that's why it's sold out quite quickly. So how is the gameplay with the grenade launcher? It's a quick solution bringer. You see an enemy laying in the field, in a room or somewhere else, you can pick your GL and shoot a grenade in its direction. Most of the shots will hit the target and finish the fight. Fights are done so quickly and that brings me to the result that the GL40 is kinda OP. Even the shots from the GL are so quiet the opponent won't notice that you fired with a GL. If you throw grenades you can hear them and you have a specific time to react. You can clear rooms with camping enemies way better or kill scav bosses a lot faster. It's nice to have the GL40 in the game because I hate campers and all the rats in the game but it's hard to balance this gun properly in my opinion. Since the GL40 is released I played I not and I never get killed by an opponent using the GL40 and I don't know why it's got them overpowered if you use it properly. This thing is crazy effective and if that matters to you, use it. If you like what you see on this channel, subscribe and jump right to the next video.